Five years ago, I got this sensor, which was an embedded system. Yes, it's a PIR sensor, and all it did was turn on and off whenever someone moved around it. Now things have changed. I got this new Starbot sensor, and it's IoT based and has some great features. So let's know more about it right after this message. Please do subscribe. So here it is. This is the new Starbot sensor. And it's special because unlike any other PIR sensor that I've seen, it comes in this beautiful packaging and it's made in India and it's Wi-Fi enabled. So at the back you will see that they have different types of sensors. This is called the SmartSense and is uh, Wi-Fi based. And it can be made to work with a lot of devices which it can be paired with. And of course there's a nice mobile application that we'll go through later on during the video and you can do all of this and a lot of other things using this application. So this is made by an Indian company and they are based out of Mumbai and the device itself is uh, projected to cost about 4500 bucks Indian rupees. This is for the Wi-Fi version and the non-Wi-Fi version will cost you about half the price. So inside the box, you have a paper manual. This is the beta model. So the retail version should have a good, better looking manual. So inside, there's nothing else but the sensor and it looks incredibly awesome. At the back, you have these output connections, red and black, which is your live wire and the neutral. This device, unlike other PIR sensors, gives you two outputs, which means they have two relays. So it has a detachable ring, which means you can easily fix it on any surface. Build quality is really good, and they've used some good polycarbonate materials in this. And even the pin connectors look really cool. So this sensor, unlike other sensors, uh, can support devices up to 1200 watts. Uh, it also has some additional features like temperature sensing. And I like the way the whole thing is put together and it can really make your decor look nice. So getting back to the technical aspects of this device, you can see that there are two additional outputs. Usually these devices have three wires, but this one has four because there are two relays, which means you can independently control two different devices. So essentially here, they've pre-labeled it just to tell you what it can do. So basically there are two outputs in this PIR sensor. One of them can put on a light when the sensor is triggered and the other one can be used to trigger an alarm. And the best part is both of these relays can be independently controlled via the app. So I'm going to do a small demo here using some small LED lights. So the red light will be connected to the light bulb for instance and the blue light will be connected to the alarm system. So it's a simple setup. So we'll see how this works. I just want to test this before I mount it up. So before you do any work with electricity, just make sure that you're safe and you know, do not take any chances touching any live wires. So the next thing to do is very simple. Install the application. It's called Starbot. All you have to do is just look up on Play Store or your iPhone App Store. Find the app, install it, sign in with your email address, add in all the details that you require for an app to be signed up for the first time. Once you register, just come to the home screen and click on the hamburger menu on the top left and you will see a menu which says add device. So once you click on that, you should get a QR code scanner. Just scan the box which you got with the device and it'll throw up the name of the sensor. Now 
here's where it gets a little tricky all you need to do is go back to your wi-fi connections so you'll find a device with a long serial number which starts with s uh, try and connect to it the password is one to eight numbers all you need to do is do that and then come back to the application so once you get back to the application just add in your wi-fi name ssid and the password so ssid is your wi-fi name and your password exactly how it is and all you have to do is just submit and it should give you a message saying the device is configured successfully now go back again to wi-fi connect to your home wi-fi and you're all set to go so once you're here you can add your sensor to a room I have added this under Artec, and you can see that the device is showing up as connected there's a green tick box at the top of the app you have different options here to connect your light sensors to see how much light the device is actually taking in you can actually let it work based on the amount of light it's taking in and here you can see the two yellow icons lit up one shows that the light bulb is lit and the other one is the alarm so the red color bulb here is the light bulb and blue one is alarm so the alarm is triggered here to get off in about a minute so which means if you connect it to a buzzer it should go off in a minute you can set any time you want here and you can even disable the feature if you don't want it so there's also an option to enable notifications in case you sense movement uh, your phone should give you an alert saying that there was movement wherever the sensor was placed and I like the feature where you can use this as a security device which means suppose someone breaks an entry you should be able to get a, a notification if, in case you connected this to an alarm system so that should notify you and another special thing about this sensor is that it's designed to detect a human body so if an animal passes by it wouldn't work so it's very cleverly designed it's not the typical sensor which you get in the market so now for the testing so I'm gonna fix this in my basement so I have two bulbs here basically there are two light sources I'm gonna use it on one of them the sensor would be installed right in the middle here so if anybody walks into the gate it should trigger the sensor so I'm gonna just mount it right next to the lamp so fixing this is very simple all you need to do is just get the removable clip and fix that on the ceiling first so according to me it should just be placed next to the light bulb if you have a false ceiling this will work really well but if you don't you can still use it and there's no problem with that so after a lot of effort the detachable clip goes onto the ceiling and then i finally managed to mount the sensor So the wires are going to be out. As I told you, it's not a false ceiling. So you have to bear with me on that. Now it's a matter of connecting the wires. And there it is. Once I manage to get everything on board, I fix the light back and the wires are visible, but uh, that's how it's going to look if you don't have a well-planned house. So you can see that the wire is actually visible and the light is connected. So let's look at some of the applications. Now, this is going to turn on the light when someone actually moves in front of it. So what's the additional thing this can do? So let's say someone just entered into the basement where you fix this you can have this fixed to an alarm system which is on a different floor and if there's a thief you're going to get notified as well as if it's loud enough he's going to hear it too you're going to get a mobile notification wherever you are and you know that's going to trigger an alarm and you can actually activate the alarm yourself from the application again and that's going to be so cool because the thief is just going to run away because he knows that he's been detected and that's a great feature of this device. So 
So let's do a real world test. So, so I'm just going to walk inside the gate. It's about 10 feet away. Now the ceiling is really low, so the sensor may not be able to pick me up. And yeah, it works. I think I'm close to about 8 feet away and it really works. Trying it from a different angle now. So I'm about 15 feet away, getting closer and the height is a little low so it's finding it difficult to f sense me but it works well. Yeah, close to about 8 feet it detects me. This has got a range of about 12 feet. So this notification feature, it's got a nice log which lets you know who has entered this place where you fixed this device. It's a really nice thing to have. Another good feature is the scheduler. So here you can let it, I mean, if you don't want this to keep switching on and off every time, you can schedule it to go on and off at a particular time of your choice. So all you need to do is just add two programs, one which brings on the sensor, and then you have another program which says, when do you want to switch it off? So if you want this to work from 9 p.m. to 9 a.m., you just have to time it here. And it's as simple as that. So it's a really good device. And I think it's pretty useful for shops, warehouses, homes, and it can prevent theft. And the application works very nicely. And they're still developing it every day, making it better. I really like this product and I definitely recommend this device to be used as a security device in your basement and it should do really well protecting some of your valuable stuff at home. So that's my review of the Starbot IoT PIR sensor. Please do consider subscribing and hit the like button if you like this video. Once again, thank you so much for watching Artech. I will see you on the next one. Bye.